is the calculation methodology used to determine a building's compliance with Partel building regulations. It calculates a building's emission rating, which is the kilograms of CO2 emissions per square metre over a year. That is then compared with a notional building of the same size and the same specification to determine whether it meets the minimum standards or not. SAP 10 is the most current iteration of the SAP calculation methodology. It's going to be introduced with the new building regs, which is hopefully coming in October of this year. It better appreciates the UK's energy mix that currently sits with over 50% coming from renewable sources, such as solar and wind, as well as the reduction in use of fossil fuels to produce power for the electricity grid in the UK. There are many procedural and methodological changes in SAP 10 compared to SAP 2012. Most of them cannot be seen from a developer and architect standpoint. Most of them can only be seen on our point as the assessor. So there are changes in terms of the actual calculation methodology and the factors that are used to determine the carbon emissions from certain heating fuels. With the change in the carbon factor for electricity, it really does give them a lot more flexibility in terms of the way homes are heated and the energy strategy used by architects and developers. It will help design I believe going forward is it helps with the one thing that the ethics love is wall space. So a lot of places, a lot of homes aren't going to need radiators on the wall. It can all be powered even by underfloor heating. Obviously electric radiators, infrared heating systems, which use a lot less space. It's the fact that ACDs can no longer be used in setup calculations. An ACD is a thermal bridge and looks at a certain psi value, which is the amount of heat transfer from a lineal point within a building. Emission of these from the SAP calculation methodology, we are going to need to see more bespoke junctions detailed through psi value calculations and other modeling softwares. This is going to take a massive step forward in terms of the thermal bridge and design of homes. And it's going to lead to better quality homes going forward in terms of heat tightness and air tightness. It is going to be a massive change, but it's something that is going to need, be needed to ensure compliance with part our building regulations. The main challenges you could face when SAP 10 is going to be introduced is purely a, uh, a change of business as usual. As I mentioned before, there are going to be a number of procedural changes that are going to happen on construction sites and buildings throughout the country when, when it's coming to domestic side of things. With the side value calculation being needed and new details being, being designed, it's going to lead to a lot more external consultancy that's going to be needed. So it'd be important to engage with that straight away as compliance with Partel will be very difficult without it. Also, in terms of the air tightness testing, there is no longer going to be sample testing allowed as part of Partel sign off. Every home and every unit, whether it's on a, a building site full of 300 houses or a block of apartments, every unit will have to be tested to ensure build quality and um, air tightness as well as sound tightness. The best way to prepare for SAP 10 is to integrate yourself with the information being released by the government and other bodies in terms of updates to the calculation methodology and what it means to you. Together, Thermosphere and CAT Solutions have launched Talk SAP 10 an initiative which looks to engage discussion and information around Sapton and how it could affect the industry going forward. It's important to keep updated with this to, to know how designs could be affected going forward and how the construction process could change. More information on Talk Sapton can be found on the Thermosphere and C80 Solutions websites, along with all of our social media channels. And we actually have set, a group, set up a group on LinkedIn as well, which you're more than welcome to join and engage in discussion with other people in the industry as well as ourselves.